Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. This is Spagabber Backpacking, I'm Mark, and today we're gonna to be talking about food for the trail, especially for a long trail. As you guys know, I have uh, just a little under two months from now, like actually a, like a month and a half from now, uh, Chris, Rain Man, one of his friends, Sean, and I are headed out to, we're flying into Reno, Nevada, and then we're going over to Lake Tahoe, and we're doing the Tahoe Rim Trail. Tahoe. It's about a 170 mile trail. I, I think if you go on their website, it says 165 miles, but it's probably closer to the 200 range. And then if you start doing any side trips, uh, it really racks up the mileage pretty quick. Like if you're going up and doing like Mount Talac, uh, there's a few other peaks and stuff that you can go to. It, it definitely brings it up. So we're doing 11 days on the trail. Uh, people do it shorter. People do it in, in eight to 10. Uh, those guys are moving pretty quick and doing 20 plus every day. And then you've got other people that do it in a couple of weeks. So we're kind of taking our time and doing it the way that we feel like doing it. But that means that we're gonna be carrying extra food. Now I'm gonna do another video where I talk about how I'm actually gonna be storing that food, what I'm gonna be carrying the food in, because that's another thing to think about in areas that have you know, pretty high bear populations and some regulations that you have to follow. So that's another, another thing that we will be talking about. But for today, we're gonna to talk about food. What does it take to do a trail like this? What are some of your options? And what am I going with? So let's do this. All right, I made up a good cup of coffee. It's, uh, it's a nice morning out here. It's not too humid or too hot yet. So I'm just sitting out in the back, just enjoying a cup of coffee and talking with you guys. So I've got three boxes over here. And in these boxes are items from three different companies. Now there's a lot of different companies out there, a lot of different uh, small batch type companies that are doing really good, really cool, either freeze dried or dehydrated meals that you can get and take out backpacking with you. There are some other bigger name ones that I'm not a huge fan of. You guys have heard me mention some of those in the past. And uh, you know, if that's what you're into, that's what you're into, cool. Uh, they're readily available and you don't have to mail order them. But for what I like, there's three companies that kind of came to mind. And for this trip, that's what I wanted to use. And those companies are Outdoor Pantry, Packet Gourmet, and Wild Zora. And you guys have heard me talk about their different things quite a bit. And there are certain things from each company that I really, really like. And so I made sure that I had those. And then there were other things that I wanted to try. And uh, some some cool little things that go along with it that uh, I wanted to share and show you guys. So the way I went to, went about this was, okay, I've got 10 days, 11 days out on the trail. First day, probably don't need breakfast. Last day, probably don't need dinner. We've got one night that we're gonna be stopping and staying in a hotel so we can recharge batteries. Uh, we've got a food drop going there, so we're gonna have to figure out which food is for the second half, which food's for the first half, divide it out, get that set out. And I normally am not a big, not a big breakfast person on the trail, but for this trip, I did want something, uh, something different. Oatmeal is nice and light, so that was something that I thought about. But I wanted something that had a little bit more nutritional content than the, uh, the standard instant oatmeal packets. So here's what I came up with. So I I decided uh, I really like dinners from Outdoor Pantry. And so all of my dinners came from Outdoor Pantry. Lunches, a really nice way to do lunch for me, uh, something that can be done either warm or cold, are the Packet Gourmet uh, chicken salads. So they've got like four or five different chicken salads and they've got a few other things that can be done cold and that means you aren't really having to break out the, the cook kit, do everything, you can kind of cold soak it. You can actually put the water in at a break, put it back in your pack, hike for another couple of miles, stop, eat, and everything's ready to go. So you're not really wasting any time. Um, and then for breakfasts and a lot of the snacks, Wild Zora has some amazing stuff. Uh, some things that they've sent me to test in the past that I really, really enjoyed, and so, I went back to them for, for those things. Now, 
there are other ways you can do this. There are definitely other ways you can do this. Like other long trails, there are you know, resupply type points along the way. So you'll be going through Echo Lake, and that's a place that you could, the uh, Echo Lake Chalet there has has small amount of provisions that you could get to stack, uh, to stock up. Uh, you're going through South Lake Tahoe, or really nearby, and you're going through Tahoe City. You actually go right through Tahoe City. Uh, and then there are other points where you can get off and not be too far from a town where you could go resupply and do uh, the standard stuff that, that through hiking type people do, which is like tuna, north sides, um, ramen, that type of stuff you can get pretty much anywhere. And so those are staples. Those are staples that people go with. But we decided, or I decided, that this was the way I wanted to do it. So let's talk through uh, some of my choices. All right, so what I've got right here in front of me is a pretty typical start of a day. Now, throw in here uh, some other snacks, beef jerky. I'll probably have a huge bag of beef jerky that I'll take with me. Uh, probably some drink mixes, some other stuff that's gonna go along with this. But for me going out and purchasing stuff, this is what I bought just to kind of get me going. So to start the day, Wild Zora has these grain-free instant cereals and you can add either hot or cold water and it you can actually do it inside of this packet if you want or you can pour it into a bowl or a cup or whatever you're going to eat it out of a ziploc bag uh, and then it's 230 calories but this one's blueberry muffin they've got apple pie they've got a whole bunch of them so these come in a box uh i want to say there were six in a box five or six in a box and i tried them they're not super sweet Ingredients are all natural ingredients. The ingredients list is so short. It is almonds, organic flaxseed, apple, coconut, blueberries, lemon, and sea salt. That's it, that's all that's in there. So that's one of the things that I like about the Wild Zora stuff and one of the reasons I've chosen to keep going back to them is they are very simple, natural, and good products. Um, just clean, very clean. So that's breakfast. I like to snack when I'm hiking, and so these air-dried fruit, uh, there's lots of different ones that they have. So it's no added sugar, uh, no dyes, no sulfites, it's gluten-free. But this one is cherries, apples, and apricots. Uh, I think there's three or four different ones. I've got all of them in there, but they're really good. They, they're like whole fruit that's just been air-dried, and they are super tasty. They've still got all that sweetness kind of in there. Uh, 200 calories for this bag so something else cool to take one of the things I, I've always enjoyed are their <laughs> their bars now these are meat and veggie bars they aren't just meat so it's not just like a, a dehydrated piece of steak it's not just a piece of beef, beef jerky these are meat and veggie bars so this one right here is Parmesan beef with tomato basil and kale uh, another 110 calories there just a, a quick snack and sometimes I just want something that's like meat and that's that's that and these things are really really good I got rain man hooked on these at one point as well um, kind of as a just a, a, a side throughout the day if I wanted it um, there are these soups and they're super lightweight super compact I mean they're they're nothing so these soups uh, this one's a savory beef soup with beets, cabbage, carrots, and wine vinegar. These can be eaten alone. Just kind of throw them into a cup and use them as something to warm you up, get you going if, you, if it's a cooler day. Or another way to go is you could use these as a lunch mixed with ramen. Don't add in the ramen packet or add this in instead. And that becomes a really nice change from what a ramen packet normally would be. For my real lunch, what I'm going with is Packet Gourmet. And like I said, they've got all of those um, different chicken salads. This one is the curry mango chicken salad. Super, super good. I will probably, well, no, I won't probably. I will be bringing uh, like a whole bunch of tortillas. And so wrap them up. You can eat it right out of the bag, but I'm gonna do wraps just to add a little bit more calorie content to it, a little bit more dense and do them that way. You could also do, um, they sell dehydrated or freeze-dried cheeses. You could do some cheese, throw it in there, 
and make it a little bit more substantial as well. You could get like a, an additional mayo packet, put it on there for a little bit more calorie content. Um, but pretty small, pretty light package. This is 3.2 ounces and packs down pretty well. So that's what I'm doing for lunches. And then for dinner, <laughs> Outdoor Pantry has some absolutely incredible tasting meals. This one is the chicken pot pie. I didn't think I'd be a fan of this one. I absolutely love this meal. So the chicken pot pie is really good. There's a lot of them from Outdoor Pantry that I just, I have fallen in love with. Uh, the chicken and waffles, another one that I didn't think I would like, but has become one of my favorites. So this stuff you see right here, along with a few other snacks thrown in there, would make up one day. Uh, probably like a bag of M&Ms, um, maybe some other sweet stuff. Now, there's been there's been periods where I've eaten way too much sugar and, and times when I've tried to stay off of the sugar. Uh, for a trip like this, I don't see any problem with, with adding in a little bit of sugar. And actually, uh, I think Packy Gourmet felt the same way because they sent me a, a dessert. Uh, and, and if you guys haven't had this, this is Mom's Banana Pudding. Super, super good. I'm not a big fan of banana stuff. I absolutely love this one. Super good. One of the things I did want to mention is that it's really cool to get your, your meals in the mail, open up the box, and have a handwritten note uh, from the owners. And so, you know, I've been ordering from Packet Gourmet and I've been doing videos where I talk about Packet Gourmet for a long time. Uh, lately, every box I get from them has a note talking about how they, they love it when they see my name come through um, and just kind of encouraging me and cheering me on. Like this one talked about my Tahoe Rim Trail trip and how awesome and excited they were for me. Um, Outdoor Pantry, same thing. I got a, a handwritten note thanking me for using their stuff and for putting it in videos. Uh, and, and just so you guys know, I do pay for all of this stuff. I've paid for all of this here. Um, I may have used discount codes that were available out there, but I didn't use anything that anyone else doesn't have access to. I purchased these all myself for my trip. Um, and even, even the coffee I'm drinking, Hoboken Coffee here in, it's in Guthrie, Oklahoma. You can mail order from them. Uh, some of the best coffee I've ever had. And every time I get a box from them, because they've been closed with COVID and everything else going on, they've been closed and only doing mail order stuff. And so every time I get one, there's a handwritten note in there. And so it just kind of sets it aside, apart, sets it apart and makes it special. In case you were wondering, this is what 10 days of amazing trail food looks like. <laughs> How am I gonna get this all in my bag? Um, I like to eat. I like to eat good, tasty stuff. Man, this looks like it's gonna fill up my entire pack. It's a good thing I've got a new, slightly larger pack being made just specifically for this trip. But we are gonna do another, another video where I talk about how I'm actually gonna be carrying this food because there are many options that you have to wade through and think about. So that's gonna be next. But for today, this is what we were talking about. I know there are others out there that, that are great companies that make good food. These ones are ones that I've had many times and I trust and really the quality and the taste is so good. There's not much reason for me to consider anything else. So Packy Gourmet, Outdoor Pantry, Wild Zora. If you guys haven't checked them out before, I will leave links down below where you can check them out and try some of their food. I'll see if I can get some discount codes from them and throw them down there as well. We'll see what I can come up with but I will give that a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give them a shout, give them a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. No matter what you're using now, I think you're gonna find these are probably the best ones out there. Thanks for checking it out, guys. If you guys have any comments, if you guys have done a long trip like this and you've done something different for food or you've done the same thing for food, let me know down below. Let me know what you do for food and since I'm gonna be figuring out how to store this food and how to take it with me, especially in bear country, down below, let me know how you carry your food. I appreciate you guys checking this out. I will see you down the trail.